Hello and welcome to another episode from the Water's Edge. Today you catch up with us on a, another sea fishing session. We're actually back up North Norfolk and today I'm going to be fishing with my good friend Jack Mills. And the reports have been good and the species we are after today is the smooth hound. They've been getting one or two fish and just a couple of days ago Jack had a real nice haul of fish up to about seven or eight pounds. So we're going to try and emulate that today, see if we can get some footage on camera. We've got a bucket of fresh peeler and we've got some decent conditions for it. Sea should be nice and flat, there's a reasonable tide, the sun is shining and it's all looking good. So we're now making our way down to the beach. We've got a short walk and then we've got a little descent down the cliffs and we'll be there. So what we'll do is we're going to trudge on now, we'll get down there, get set up and get some baits in the water. The first rod of the session is just out there now. So it's absolutely lovely down here, isn't it, yeah, Jack? Perfect. We've got a real nice night for it and hopefully some real good conditions to pick up a, uh, a hound or two. Sea's nice and flat, which is what they, they generally tend to like. There's a high pressure, you know, reasonable tide, nothing, nothing stupid, but you know, enough certainly to hopefully get a few fish feeding. Good wind and stuff as well yeah. off the beach. And yeah, mate. It's looking. It's we nice. had a few fish down here a couple of days back, as we said on the on the walk up here. Had a few fish up to about seven or so pound. It was yeah, a good it, bit yeah, of sport. Yeah, good session, mate. Yeah, yeah. Come down here a couple of nights ago, didn't we? And um, yeah, yeah. like you say, it's nice. Just sort of got down here, fished a couple of hours before high tide, and um, yeah, just all happened. Similar, nicely, yeah, it? yeah. similar to tonight. We're, we're, we're obviously that was a couple of days away, so the tide's two hours different today. But hopefully, we'll be able to replicate that sort of session today on camera for you. But I'll just talk to you a little bit about the rigs we've got. It's the same as the previous videos, the clip down pulley panel rig. Yellow lead today, as I say, we haven't got a huge tide run, so I think we're both on the yellows, which are the five ounce versions. Clip down, keep it nice and streamlined. As I say, we've got a bucket of, of fresh crab with us today. We've got plenty of nice baits. And I've got a pair of Frio hooks. Now, one thing I have got today, and I know you're a big fan of, is we're actually, I've actually changed the hooks that came with the rigs, and I've just upped them, not in size, but just in sort of strength and pattern, really. And the, the pattern we've been using is the, the Sakuma Manta, uh, and this is the Manta Extra. They're a real strong hook, yeah. smooth hound, a hard fighting fish, and you can't afford to have any bit of the gear letting you down. No, so, no. you know, the same with the, your snood mono, your hook length mono, you don't want to be messing around with 20 pound snoods because smooth have got a real rough skin yeah, and they'll, yeah. they'll often roll on the line. So you don't, you don't want to sort of hook that fish of a lifetime only for the tackle to let you down. Now, these hooks, we're not, we're not sponsored by them. We just like to use what we think is the best. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, you know, they won't let you down. No, I mean, I've been using them for, I probably started using them this season really. And, um, like you say, the main thing, one, they're strong, super sharp, yeah. um, probably the, one of the sharpest sea hooks you, you come across from yeah, manufacturing. Definitely. Um, yeah, definitely. Yeah, they've just, just, they've just got confidence in them, haven't we? And this... the, the, the thing I quite like about them as well is they've got a, a relatively short shank, because when you're, when you're fishing crab, you don't want a real long shank like when you're threading worms up, you know? It's a nice... Yeah. Anyway, what I'm going to do is we're going to um, get a couple of baits ready, because we've got the rods out there now, so we'll have that spare rig ready to go. I'll just peel one off. We have got some worm with this as well, but I think primarily it's going to be a crab. It's going to be a I crab think, bait. Yeah, I think you know. so. Um, certainly the other day, anyway. I mean, um, the crab we had the other day was a little bit smaller than what we got today, but it just didn't make any difference. And you know, it's, it's just coming it's, in it's and just, smashing yeah, it up and straight away. And at times, you know, it's coming. It was so thick and fast. I think we're, only, we're chucking baits out two, three times sometimes, yeah. and you're still picking fish up on them. So when they're there, they move in. If they're feeding and they're on the feet, you know, you're going to pick them up yeah. definitely. If yeah. you've got crab on. So we brought some worm, like you say, more as a backup than anything. And um, I think it's going to be out and out crab. I think yeah. so. 
one thing to say is probably worth saying as well, like you were saying about the rigs earlier, is um, it's probably the difference in, in sort of lengths and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, ex Jack's been experimenting a little bit with the, the actual length for your snood and your hook length. Yeah, you? it's exactly the same it. rig, isn't it? You know, like you say, you, we're both using pulleys, um, but I've just been playing around with it really, just something that we've, we've tried this year and it seems to work so far. Just using a lot shorter snood and, and rig body, just so obviously the overall rig is shorter. I don't know, main reason, just so it's has got less distance for um, the actual rig to travel Perhaps the fish a slightly better hook and, yeah. hook and rig and and you know so for fish to pick up I know you're probably going to the sort of carp side of things aren't yeah, you but, yeah, but yeah. you know it's, it's worth thinking about and um, we're like we were yeah, talking about the other day you know, a bit longer you've, you've got competitions in sea fishing and little differences like that there's got to be little edges that you can do and they're, they're obviously if there if there was no differences there wouldn't be sea match fishing was there so no, it's, exactly, it's interesting yeah. I mean we have I know we've fished before last time we came down a few weeks back and yeah the shorter rigs definitely outfish my longer yeah, rigs by far, but by far. you know something we'll perhaps experiment yeah, with have whether around with. it probably affects different tide runs and stuff like yeah, that yeah, but that's worth so, yeah. um it's worth having a go I've got this crab ready I mean what I like to do is is <clears throat> rather than actually split it in two if I'm using a whole crab I just snip it about halfway I'll get my baiting needle and I'll just sort of stretch it out like a sausage really. And then thread it on like so. And then you get a nice sort of big crab bait. So the good old bait elastic comes in. Give it a good whip on. I don't, you can't beat the crab at this time of year, no, can you? No, it's yellow. No. I don't think I'd go anywhere without it, to no. be honest with you. Um, I you don't know. think there is, not only do the smooth and absolutely love it, but there's there's really not a fish in our no. waters that won't, bass, won't accept flounders. the big juicy crab. Yeah, yeah. yeah see it, bass, flounders, even cod, even if you get the odd spring cod, it's yeah. early in the year. Um, you know, peely crab, I, I think this time of year, you know, if you can get hold of either fresh or frozen, um, you know, it's, it's worth taking, definitely, definitely. We've certainly got some good ones tonight. Anyway, yeah. hopefully that yeah. will uh, bring on some Pay big dividends. fish. Yeah. But there's the, that's the crab bait all whipped up now. Now I just like to take it off the needle, and then you can, because it's like a sausage shape. Now you can just treat it like a worm. So I like to find one of the, the little leg sockets if I can. Thread it round. Just makes it something simpler, doesn't it? Yeah. It's, it's just it. more manageable as well. And it's, it's a little bit easy to take off as well once you've um. Yeah. Once you've, you know, once it's yeah, fished you, out. That's right, you don't get all the elastic that's it, you can the almost hook and stuff like that. Yeah. Peel it off, but I'll just take the top hook, probably go round three or four times. Hook it back through the top there. And there you have a nice little crab bait. Now the main thing is you want to make sure, is they've got quite hard moves, haven't they? Yeah, you know, yeah. even though they, they smash into the bait, you want to make sure you leave, you leave plenty, plenty of, of hook points yeah, showing. I'm the same. You know, with what I do, exactly the same. Just as much hook point as you can get. In an ideal world, if you can get them, I mean, obviously it's going to change as it sort of bangs about on the bottom. But if you can get points opposite like that as well, yeah, just you're just doubling up. When it comes in from either you. angle. You're gonna, yeah, that's right. You're gonna hook it. But we'll get this clipped on. There's the, that's the finished article. So we're gonna get this clipped on the tripod. We'll probably uh, have a cup of tea as usual sit down, soak up some rays and, and see what happened. But hopefully we'll, uh, we'll be rudely interrupted by a smooth hand or two. we're about an hour and a bit into the session now and it's all been quiet so far but we're now coming up to that sort of real good time everything yeah. feel good now we're starting to lose the light and I guess it's that sort of witching hour I guess if I could picture it I think you know the hounds are offshore there and That's the light is dropping water, and then, yeah, yeah and they're now hopefully going to get ready and and come in and we might pick a few up I think now 
probably for the next sort of half an hour be watching the the rod tips really eagerly because I think that could that could, could happen, happen at any minute. time. I mean, it, the other night it was the same thing. You know, you see it's nothing, nothing. You know, rods are completely motionless because it's not much tide pull, and and then all of a sudden I don't know where it just, just, happens, just burst it? into life. Yeah, because they are a. They, are, they do tend to go around in packs. You'll often get a big pack come through. It'll be hectic for two, two hours or so, yeah, you know, yeah. and then all of a sudden that they'll they'll be it gone as quickly off. as they appear. That's right. And, yeah. You know, I guess that's what we're hoping for. But I mean, they are they are probably I would say probably my my favourite sea yeah, fish. I'm the same. I'm the same. You know, it's, yeah. Don't get me wrong. It's lovely to catch a big cod or a big bass and. And um, but but yeah, there's something about something it. About it yeah, yeah. You know, it's, it's none of this when you're winding in. You think, oh, here is there. It's not, not like yeah. whiting fishing where you think, oh, is there? You know, I think there's a couple. You know, you, you know when you've got one yeah. on. You know, yeah. the bites are so great. You know, you sit and watching. It's never is it into it again. They're big rod Proper. bending bites that's, and you know slack lines. It's, that's that's it's, that's the thing. Sort of what we what we said we should mention really is that you know obviously we're sitting a little way from the rods, but. You need to be ready to be on them, you know. If not, they, you know, they'll think nothing to pull yeah. in the rod. Oh, if yeah, you so. get a real big, and they'll think nothing to pull in that rod off the off the tripod, you know. And sometimes it's worth. Yeah. I know we have done before. You get a, a pack move through, as you say. It's just loosen your clutches it's a little bit. Yeah, it's bit. worth it. It sounds odd because you know? it's sea fishing, but yeah. you know, it's worth doing. You know, if you're setting your clutch like you probably would for carp, they're getting yeah. the same similar thing. Yeah, that's it's, it. Because the last thing, if you just take your eye off your rod for a minute, you know, they pick that up, run with it, and you know, you can have, yeah. have your rod off. There's the none tripod. of this sort of. You don't get the old little cod taps, nod yeah. and a little slack line bite. They they just hammer the bait and they're they, gone. That's it, and they're tearing you know? off. You know, and that's um that's what we're hoping for tonight anyway. Because it's probably over the last few years they've probably become the sea angler's best chance of catching the sort of specimen fish from definitely, the shore. You know, yeah. I think like my biggest sea fish is a smooth hound. Yeah, yeah, you know, not same. not a cod yeah. or not a bass. It's, it's been a hound fish at this time of year, this bit of beach with a crab as bait in similar conditions. So yeah. things are looking good and I think I'm gonna now gonna get another crab prepared because it's always handy to have I know you've got you have a couple of reeds yeah, baited yeah, normally I'm and I always too. have normally at least at least one ready because you don't want to be out of the water for too long. No, that's right. You and know? like you say, because like we said they can just come in and you know, and, and before you know it, you got fish everywhere, and you, yeah. you know, getting bite after bite. It's it's worth being prepared. You'll see that we've got a few crabs made up, and and the same with the worm and stuff. Yeah, every everything's just all prepared, ready. You've got a couple of rigs ready. That's great. So if they do move through, you've got two or three ready. rigs ready. You, you're, you're not wasting time out of the water. You can get the fish in, get another rig on, get back out. That's there. it. You need to make make the most of it when they're here because it's a little bit sort of smash and grab, yeah, it is really. A bit, really, yeah. And it can get really hectic. If you go from being yeah. nice and calm, yeah. while yeah. drinking a cup of tea, <laughs> to all of a sudden you've got loads of fish there. And, and that's why we come, isn't it? You yeah, know, it's, that's it. That's, I think that's also adds the excitement of smooth hand fishing. Is when because, is it going to? Yeah, if, because all if of a sudden, when it can is it going to happen? Exactly, exactly. And that's probably a good thing to say is if you are going to go out and go smooth hand fishing, is is don't be disheartened if you go, you know, and, and you don't catch anything for one or two trips because if just pick a beach with good form. That's it. Um, you know that they show up occasionally, and it, you know you, you do have to just put a bit of time in sometimes. And um, but when it comes true, as the, uh, I could t we what well, we both say, yeah. it's so worth it. It's, it's, um, it's, it's some explosive action. Yeah. It really, it really is. is, yeah. And personally, sea fishing wise, I don't think anything beats it. I no. just think it's, you know, no. from our shores. Well, a lot often as well, you can, uh, you can enjoy the sort of spring and summer well, weather can, to yes, go right, with exactly, it as well. Yeah, you know, it's, uh, there is, you know, you can, you can do it. So you don't have to just fish in the evenings. You can fish morning tides. You fish during the day. Um, it, again, you know, it's, it, so you can sit there fishing in <laughs> shorts yeah. and t-shirt if you want to in some days. And because um, even though it's sort of, you know, I guess well known, they they sort of feed perhaps heavier at night yeah. if you like yeah, you, you right, will yeah. catch them during the hours of daylight as well yeah, they're less well. yeah, yeah. you know which obviously a lot of the time in winter when you're cod fishing you ain't got a lot of choice because we have so many hours of darkness that's but, right yeah but this time of year you know on a flat calm day with bright sunshine some of the beaches will still produce fish yeah. on the right tide you just got to be there and if you're there and you got you got a bait in the water you got a chance that's right that's right I'm not. Uh, I'm going to go with straight crab again yeah. this time. I think. I'm trying to try a little bit of lug this time, um, but again, you know, it's like like we found the other night. You know, whether it's lug or not, I think once they're here, as long as there's a little bit of crab them. on there, I think yeah. that's the main thing. That's what makes the difference. And, um, like you say, that certainly feels like it's the right time now. It's almost the perfect point of the tide. So fingers crossed, we'll get a few. That's what. Uh, that's what I'm hoping for. I think this crab might be a. Uh, it's got Might be a lucky crab. <laughs> it's got hound written all over it. Has, it. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully the rest in that bucket have as well. <laughs> right, well this one's ready to go. Plenty of hook points showing. 
nice hound bait. We'll get that clipped on the lead. And then we're probably not far away now before we'll have to get the camera light on and we'll get the tip lights on and stuff. And yeah, we'll fish on into darkness and we'll see what happens. But hopefully this is the lucky one. I think so, mate. I don't think there's any monster, however. I can see you pick the rod up. Good knock. Yeah, good bite. Well, let's hope, mate, it's the first one. Don't think there's no monster, however. Hopefully, the target species, anyway. Feels like it at the moment. You can feel it, you know, you, you know it's a smooth anchor. You'll get them really good bites, you'll pick up, you feel a couple of good kicks. Yeah, you certainly then, know they're on. Even, yes, even, even the small pups and that, you know you've got them That's on. That's right, you know they're on the whole way in. However, they get 10 yards from the, the breakers, like it's getting to now. They, they pull and back it's, a look, look, it's going absolutely mental. I'll go down and have a look. Wait, yeah, see, if I can, uh, see if I can grab them for it. Well, some smooth on, Jack. That's a... Uh, a nice prime bass though, mate. Look nice at that, bass. lovely fish. I could have sworn that was a smooth hound. Lovely clean schoolies, absolutely nailed as well. Let me just get them hooks out. Yeah, he won't come up there in a hurry, yeah, he's, actually, he's actually nailed both of them. Look at that. Yeah. Just get him under the, under the gills there and we'll have a little look at him. But, well, we were down here after the hounds, but we certainly are uh, not going to turn that no, one down, No, definitely mate. not, definitely not. That's a cracker, mate. It's not, obviously, we said that anything will take the peeler baits, and if you watched our last video there, we enjoyed some uh, action with a bass, but that is a lovely fish, yeah. mate. That'll that is pristine. 100%. Brilliant. But so I could have sworn as a smooth hound, similar bite, knock, knock, slack. So and I see you skinny bit of a rare yeah. run around in the break That's right, yeah, sort of 10 yards out. But what he weighs, I don't know, but he's well in size. But as you said before, like the old conservation part of it. So we'll uh, slip him back and I reckon we'll get a, another bait on and get see if we can't get a hound or two. Yeah, that's right. I'll pop him back for you, <laughs> mate. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Right, we'll just add a uh, pretty decent slack line here. Eh? Okay. Chris was chucking his other rod out. It seems as though we have another fish on. Now, it doesn't feel particularly massive, however, it's a fish. And it's just when we said, just as that point of the tide where. Yeah, it looks like it, mate, yeah. Well, yeah, I was going to keep up. <laughs> yeah, I just put that up. Hey, up, it's, it's, I think, it's now we're in the breakers there? there somewhere, yeah. yeah look, you go down and. Well, mate, we've got another another nice little schoolie on here. I'll just get him out of the way so we, we can get a look at him. Some smooth hands I know, today. mate. I'm <laughs> not complaining, though, mate. No, Perhaps definitely not. Definitely not. I'll just get that hook out. Once again, he's he's just been nailed in that bottom lip. Well, mate, he won't coming off anyway. Definitely not. What a... He's a lively one. He is. I just want to be a bit careful. I know we mentioned before these are absolutely armour plated, aren't they? they See are, there, yeah. he's got his spiky dorsal fin up. Yeah, they've got a got, real. You got, got the gill plates here. You've got, yeah. you got the dorsal fin. Um, they, they are absolutely. Armour plated, a they proper pretty little aren't they? Yeah, big time. And you know, um, if they if they catch, they can give you a nasty cut or scratch yeah, or it, yeah. spike you. So just be sort of firm and fair with yeah, them, I guess. Basically, but yeah, that's the way to be. Um, that's another another cracker, Yeah, mate. that'll do, that'll do. Another cracker, that's and that's, that's put me 2-0 down. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I weren't going to mention it, but... I need to uh, pull my finger out, <laughs> I do. think. And I think it might be something to do with the rigs, but okay, <laughs> that's, that's a different debate. I'm just uh, <laughs> acting gilly at the moment, yeah. but nah, well in, mate. That's yeah, uh, brilliant. another another cracking fish. Right, well, at the moment, I need to get a rod back out, because uh, you got both in the yeah, water. Yeah, none in the water, so... Right, all right, mate, I'll pop him back for you, and hopefully... There's more to come. That's it, mate.
Yeah, it looks like it, mate, I'm afraid. And, um, yeah, I know, it's just, yeah, I just chucked this one out and um, baiting the other one up and this one's going crazy again. And um, what's your call this time, mate? Well, I don't know, it's them famous words, yeah. I, um, I'd like to say smooth how and how it was then fighting, yeah. um, but it's, it seems like it's charging about a bit, which is quite classic, really, isn't it? it is. like, it's getting quite it close in now, so we'll I'll see. I'll go down and see if I'm tailing for you, mate. It's moving down tide a bit, which is usually a good sign. It's getting pretty close now. <laughs> another fast, mate. Another schoolie. I do not believe it. Well, do you to grab that rod for yeah, you, mate? Yeah. I cannot believe it. Well, I don't know. It's only likely hooked We that talked one. up smooth hound, but we've brought you a few bass. There obviously must have been a school of them just come through here because that is literally free fish in probably, what, 15 minutes, mate? Yeah, that's right. Free Something fish like that. Chucks as well. You still, it's only, what, you put one rod back out there again, and then it's, uh, it's gone pretty much straight away. I was, I, was then, I was then said, obviously, that um, we wanted to get another rod out because I didn't have a rod in the water. So I put, quickly put, I had a bait ready, put it on, and chucked it out, and then put the other away. one on, and this one's gone again. I've still got the, uh, the little battle scar from the first one. <laughs> But, um, but again, brilliant fish, you know, you can't knock it. We're obviously aimed to come and get smooth hands, but um, I'm just as happy catching them. No, of course it. not. I'm just as happy catching these. And, but um, another crack, he's even posed now and yeah. got his fin up. And <laughs> yeah, that. he is, yeah. Lovely fish, mate. Yeah, and it's, um, it's great to see him at the end of the day, yeah. isn't it? You know, and, and we were literally just then saying you, you couldn't ask for worse bass conditions, no, really. That's it, we've got um, small tides, nice yeah. smallish tide, you know, and sort of fairly clear water, yes. Unpredictability of fishing, I guess, you know. Get a bucket of crab, come down there, and who knows what you're going to get. Don't know, you know, but brilliant. That's I'll great, get this mate. chat back anyway. All right, mate, I'll take the rod back. Cheers, boy. I hate to say it, but there is, I think. <laughs> Um, I'm going to be in the right salt in a minute, yeah, mate. You're going to have to start sharing some of the love. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, lit, again, literally just chucked it out, turned around, spaded up my spare rig, and uh, I was gone again. And to be fair, <laughs> it, it does feel like a bass, this one. Um, Probably be a smooth though, mate. Yeah. You, know, you know that. Well, that's my thinking. That's why I said it. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's just now coming in. to get the spare rig baited, mate. No, that's it. By the looks of things, Another nice fish though, mate. Another nice fish. Well, I'm in absolute pristine perfect. condition. All of them. Fit. Literally everyone's perfect. And it's um. Just get him up the way. Can you take that rod yeah, again, mate? One, yeah. I'll, I'll let you. Uh, they're like peas in a pod. Every I'll single one. I'll let you do one. the honours. They have been really, haven't they? Yeah. Again, look. You see, it's absolutely nailed. Well, I say that. It's just about falling out. <laughs> Um, but you can see, I literally only just it's still, uh, chucked that one out, and it's yeah. Um, it's um, yeah. I, 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 honestly, like we we're saying, you know, the actual conditions-wise, it's, it's really well, strange. I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't have said, I wouldn't have said that you know they could be any worse for for bass. But um, but like you we were saying, it's just how it goes sometimes, doesn't it's it? It's getting you a bit of a, a run around. Yeah, yeah. They're all been pretty lively. That's the thing. It's, F firm and fair, sweet. Firm and fair. You can grab them so if you can, can't get your, your finger under the gills, if yeah, you grab them by the lip there, they haven't got teeth as such, so. No, they've just got you know, little rubbing pads, but it. other than that, you know. You're, you're pretty safe there, but we'll give you, we'll give you a little look at and get some of that, that sand off in there. And yeah. Again, they're another, all like peas in a pod, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, mate, another lovely fish. And, um, lovely fish. I can't really say much more. It's, it's, I honestly couldn't have picked worse conditions no, for them as if, such. Um, all right, it's enjoyable fishing, and you know we're not complaining about it. But you know everything screams smooth hands, and we, we, we talked it up, and we were confident. You know the, the first bite, the first was going to be a smooth hand, and it's just it's not gone to plan. But you know we've still got a few hours fishing it's a pleasant left. Pleasant surprise, isn't it? Least, we're not uh, we're not. If we can bring you some fish and some fishing like this, then you know we're happy, and, and hopefully you are watching it. So. That's uh, again quality, mate. <laughs> I am really chuffed, honestly. Yeah, yeah. No, we'll get it back. Yeah, nice one. Well, I think after that commotion, I literally just released Jack's fish back, 
And I think finally, after battling away, I've managed to uh, winkle one out of my own. It was the line was it's a proper sort of true slack line bite, I guess. And he's just gone down tide. I don't think he's a particularly big fish. And if I had to have a pound on it, I'd say it's probably going to be another schoolie. He's just up to my right there. It's nice to see. It's nice to see that you've it is, got mate, a bite. It's, oh, yeah, it's it. <laughs> it's, uh, well, it looks like it's given it some. It's been a bit of a crazy night, really, yeah, to be honest with you. Like we just, we said, just from I mean, nowhere, you know, we had a couple of um, a couple of blank hours, then this darkness has descended, and... Uh, yeah. Well, I suppose, it, in a way, although it's the wrong species, we kind of planned it like that. We know it can just go... And just That's it, like all of a sudden, said, just turn you know, and be hectic. You just don't know, but he's only. So, is he getting close? close? I'll, I'll see if there. I can grab him. Mate. Looks, mate. Another nice bass. Another bass. Another, bass. Another crack in size. Look, look at the He's in a pod, mate. What? Yeah. A... I tell you, you give me some right grief under the rod tip there. I thought he was uh, probably smaller than that, if I'm honest with you. But what a fish, where have they come from? They just moved that there must be a lot of fish out there tonight because uh, it's just gone crazy, really. As soon as we've got a bait in the water, it's, it's just been a case of when rather than if, really, isn't it? Is it is, really, yeah. And but that is um, another, another one. He's giving me grief, <laughs> mate. He's giving you a bit of grief. Big yeah, head on him, that one. This one, yeah, probably, uh, slightly chunky fish yeah. as well, isn't it? And um, yeah, yeah. But, but that again, is another. They are another just peach. like peas in a pod, aren't they? It's, um, so yeah, it's such an angry little fish, aren't they? But superb. Can't beat him. You really it's great can't. stuff. It's great. Well, I pulled one back, mate. Yeah, I'm I'm finally, I get to pull one back for <laughs> you. It. That's that <laughs> hat. The hat does work. <laughs> <That's> it's, uh, <laughs> off the tripod. The only way it's working for me at the moment is that I haven't got any rods in the water. So if you don't mind, I'll go and put this one back. Good stuff. Well done, mate. Well done. The next hour we fished hard and numerous other hard fighting school bass hit the beach as they took a liking to our fresh peeler crab baits. Nothing massive but fish to around £4 provides some excellent sport for both myself and Jack. But with time getting on and bait supplies heavily depleted we eventually decided to call it a night. Even though we hadn't managed to smooth hand as planned we'd still enjoyed some great fishing and of course we will be back. Well, mate, I don't know about you, but that is another lovely fish. Well, mate, I think that might be a uh, great way to end the session. That's yeah, probably, definitely. probably the biggest fish of the night there, I reckon. Yeah, definitely. We've done most of the crabbing now. We're pretty much just right at the top of high tide. It's getting loud and at wind. I ain't yeah. got a clue what time it is, if I'm <laughs> honest. We're, uh, <laughs> We've just been so busy. I think we're probably into the double figures now, numbers-wise. Must be, must be. I mean, it's it's been a brilliant session, but it, you yeah, know, it has. it's gone completely against what yeah, we thought it was going to be. But um, I mean, we, we knew there's a few fish in the cars, but we just we just got the species wrong. It's um, just, uh, yeah. I don't know what else to say. It, really. just, it, I mean, it's been brilliant. I say it's just been a bit of a surprise, really, more it than has. anything. And, it has. Um, you know, as much as we love catch a smooth hands, you know. You, you can't be catching fish of this stamp as well. You know, they've all, they've one all up been yet. a good size, yeah. you know, they've all been, they've Average, all been what, a real three good to four size. Yeah. I reckon, stuff like that. Definitely. And I mean, I don't know what he goes, I don't know if I've got any scales with me, but I guess that's irrelevant, really. Yeah. It's just, yeah, it's it. yeah, you know, yeah. that's just a crack and fish. That's um, it. That's it. Yeah, you just can't, like I say, there's not really a lot more you can say. It's been a brilliant we, session. Uh, we do hope you've enjoyed it. Just say it's, it was meant to be some smooth out session, but, you know. It's been a, it's been good. Thank you for coming along with us. Well, and, I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed you know, it. Thank your you for first time me, yeah. on film. I'm sure, there'll be many more because we still, we still owe you all a, uh, a smooth hand episode. So I'm sure we'll be back okay. down this part. Yeah. We've got, we've got our eye next week on a good set of tides. Yeah, good tides. Hopefully, if the weather and that is, uh, play, is good, play, yeah, we, should, yeah. um, we should be on for a few. But once again, as always, we do hope you've enjoyed it. Be lucky, and we'll see you again on the next one. Come out ever so easy. And that is uh, probably one for the outtakes as I've got sand all on my chin. And again.
the hook and stuff like that. Yeah. Peel it off. But I just take the top hook, probably go round three or four times, hook it back through the top there, and there you have a nice little crab bait. Now the main thing is you want to make sure is they've got quite hard moves, haven't they? Yeah, you know, yeah. even though they, they smash into the bait, you want to make sure you leave you leave plenty, plenty of hook, hook points yeah, showing. I'm the same. You know, with what I do, exactly the same. Just as much hook point as you can get. In an ideal world, if you can get them, I mean, obviously it's going to change as it sort of bangs about on the bottom. But if you can get points opposite like that as well, yeah, just you're just doubling up. And it comes in from either you. angle. You're gonna, yeah, that's right. You're gonna hook it. But we'll get this clipped on. There's the, that's the finished article. So we're gonna get this clipped on the tripod. We'll probably uh, have a cup of tea as usual. Sit down, soak up some rays, and, and see what happened. But hopefully, we'll uh, we'll be rudely interrupted by a smooth hound or two. I guess we're about an hour and a bit into the session now and it's all been quiet so far but we're now coming up to that sort of real good time, everything yeah. feels good now. We're starting to lose the light and I guess it's that sort of witching hour. I guess if I could picture it, I think, you know, the hounds are offshore there and That's the light is... Thing. One, they're strong, super sharp, yeah. um, probably the, one of the sharpest sea hooks you, you come across from yeah, manufacturing. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, they just, just, just got confidence in them, haven't we? And this... the, the, the thing I quite like about them as well is they've got a, a relatively short shank, because when you're, when you're fishing crab, you don't want a real long shank like when you're threading worms up, you know? It's a nice... Yeah. Anyway, what I'm going to do is we're going to um, get a couple of baits ready, because we've got the rods out there now, so we'll have that spare rig ready to go. I'll just peel one off. We have got some worm with this as well, but I think primarily... It's going to be a crab. It's going to be a I crab think, bait. Yeah, I think you know. so. It's, um, certainly the other day anyway. I mean, um, the crab we had the other day was a little bit smaller than what we got today, but it just didn't make any difference. And you know, They're it's, just it's, coming it's, in it's and just, smashing yeah, it up. And... Straight away. And at times, you know, it's coming, it was so thick and fast. I mean, we're, only, we're chucking baits out two, three times sometimes. Yeah. And you're still picking fish up on them. So when they're there, they move in. If they're feeding and they're on the feet, you know, you're going to pick them up. Yeah. Definitely, if yeah. you've got crab on. So we've brought some worm, like you say, more as a backup than anything. And um, I think it's going to be out and out crab, I think yeah. so. One thing to say is probably worth saying as well, like you were saying about the rigs earlier, is um, there's probably the difference in, in sort of lengths and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, been mean, Jack's been experimenting a little bit with the, the actual length for your snood and your hook length. Yeah, you? it's exactly the same rig, isn't it? You know, like you say, you, we're both using pulleys, um, but I've just been playing around with it really, just something that we've, we've tried this year and it seems to work so far. Just using a lot shorter snood and, and rig body, just so obviously the overall rig is shorter. I don't know, main reason, just so it's, it's got less distance for um, the actual rig to travel, Perhaps the slightly better hook and, yeah. hook and rig, and and you know, so for fish to pick up, I know you're probably going to the sort of carp side of things, aren't yeah, you? But, yeah, but yeah. you know, it's, it's worth thinking about. And um, we're like we yeah, were talking about the other day, you know, a bit longer. You've, you've got competitions in sea fishing, and little differences like that, there's got to be little edges that you can do. And they're, they're obviously, if there, if there was no differences, there wouldn't be sea match fishing, was there? It? So no, it's, exactly, it's interesting. Yeah. Hello and welcome to another episode from the Water's Edge. Today you catch up with us on a, another sea fishing session. We're actually back up North Norfolk and today I'm going to be fishing with my good friend Jack Mills. And the reports have been good and the species we are after today is the smooth hound. They've been getting one or two fish and just a couple of days ago Jack had a real nice haul of fish up to about seven or eight pounds. So we're going to try and emulate that today, see if we can get some footage on camera. We've got a bucket of fresh peeler and we've got some decent conditions for it. Sea should be nice and flat, there's a reasonable tide, the sun is shining and it's all looking good. So we're now making our way down to the beach. We've got a short walk and then we've got a little descent down the cliffs and we'll be there. So what we'll do is we're going to trudge on now, we'll get down there, get set up and get some baits in the water.
the first rod of the session is just out there now. So it's an absolutely lovely down here, isn't it, yeah, Jack? Perfect. We've got a real nice night for it and hopefully some real good conditions to pick up a, uh, a hound or two. Sea's nice and flat, which is what they, they generally tend to like. There's a high pressure. You no know, reason. I mean, we have. I know we fished before last time we came down a few weeks back, and yeah. the shorter rigs definitely outfish my longer yeah, rigs. By far. But by far. You know, something we'll perhaps experiment yeah, with. Whether it, with. it probably affects different tide runs and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, but that's worth. So, yeah. um, it's worth having a go. I've got this crab ready. I mean, what I like to do is, is <clears throat> rather than actually split it in two, if I'm using a whole crab, I just snip it about halfway. I get my baiting needle and I just sort of stretch it out like a sausage, really. And then thread it on like so. And then you get a nice sort of big crab bait. So the good old bait elastic comes in. Give it a good whip on. I don't, you can't beat the crab at this time of year, no, can you? No, it's yellow. No. I don't think I'd go anywhere without it, to no. be honest with you. Um, I you don't know. think there is, not only do the smooth and absolutely love it, but there's there's really not a fish in our no. waters that won't, bass, won't accept the big juicy crab. Yeah, yeah. yeah see it, bass, flounders, even cod, even if you get the odd spring cod, it's like yeah. early in the year. Um, you know, peeler crab, I, I think this time of year, you know, if you can get hold of either fresh or frozen, um, you know, it's, it's worth taking, definitely, definitely. We've certainly got some good ones tonight. Anyway, yeah. hopefully that yeah. will uh, bring on some Pay big dividends. fish. Yeah. But there's the, that's the crab bait all whipped up now. Now I would just like to take it off the needle, and then you can, because it's like a sausage shape. Now you can just treat it like a worm. So I like to find one of the, the little leg sockets if I can. Thread it round. Just makes it something simpler, doesn't it? Yeah, it's, that's it's just it. more manageable as well. And it's a little bit easier to take off as well once you've um. Yeah. Once you've, you know, once it's yeah, fished you, out. That's right, you don't get all the elastic. That's it, you can all. Reasonable tide, nothing, nothing stupid, but, you know, enough certainly to hopefully get a few fish feeding. Good wind and stuff as well, yeah. off the beach. And yeah, mate, it's looking, it's we nice. had a few fish down here a couple of days back, as we said on the on the walk up here. Had a few fish up to about seven or so pound, it was yeah, a good it, bit yeah, of sport. Yeah, good session, mate, yeah, yeah. Come down here a couple of nights ago, didn't we? And, um, yeah, yeah, like you say, it's nice, just sort of got down here, fished a couple of hours before high tide. And um, yeah, it just all happened. Similar, honestly, didn't yeah, it? Yeah. similar to tonight. We're, we're obviously that was a couple of days away, so the tide's two hours different today. But hopefully, we'll be able to replicate that sort of session today on camera for you. But I'll just talk to you a little bit about the rigs we got. It's the same as the previous videos. The clip down pulley panel rig, yellow lead today. As I say, we haven't got a huge tide run, so I think we're both on the yellows, which are the five ounce versions. Clip down, keep it nice and streamlined. I'd say we've got a bucket of a fresh crab with us today. We've got plenty of nice baits. And I've got a pair of Frio hooks. Now, one thing I have got today, and I know you're a big fan of, is we're actually I've actually changed the hooks that came with the rigs and I've just upped them. Not in size, but just in sort of strength and pattern really. And the, the pattern we've been using is the, the Sakuma Manta, uh, and this is the Manta Extra. They're a real strong hook. Yeah. Smooth hound are a hard fighting fish and you can't afford to have any bit of the gear letting you down. No, so, no. you know, the same with the your snood mono, your hook length mono. You don't want to be messing around with 20 pound snoods because smooth hound have got a real rough skin yeah, and they'll yeah. they'll often roll on the line. So you don't you don't want to sort of hook that fish of a lifetime only for the tackle to let you down. Now, these hooks we're not we're not sponsored by and we just like to use what we think is the best. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. And you know, they won't let you down. No, I mean I've been using them for I probably started using them this season really and um, like you say the main 